Greetings YouTube, this is the Garage Autonomous. This is going to be the second installment of Their Black History and Ours. And today we are profiling Gerald A. Lawson, also known as Jerry Lawson. Now, if you are not sure, or maybe the name sounds familiar, and if you don't know this already, the best way to describe who Gerald Lawson is, is to simply look at your television Look underneath that television and look at your gaming system. Think about your gaming system. You own a system that you paid for once, but you buy discs, or in some cases, maybe you subscribe to some streaming. The point is, is that you're able to play your choice of video games and at a great deal of variety all at once instead of having to have it soldered into your gaming system and only having one game at a time. Because yes, Prior to 1980, that's how gamers were living. The struggle was real back then. I would know because we didn't even have money for that shit. But Gerald A. Lawson came up with the innovative idea that if people wanted to play video games at home, they, at home, they should be able to play more than one and they should be able to have a variety. So uh, the idea was that you buy a system and then you go out and you buy more games. He started that idea. He started that innovation. So Jerry Lawson, at the time, was an engineer and a designer for the Fairchild Channel F company. And what he did there was in turn to give Fairchild the video game console. He was chief hardware engineer and director of engineering and marketing for the Fairchild Semiconductors video game division. The earlier games that he had developed were Demolition Derby, which I totally remember playing at other friends' homes, with an overdue honor as an industry pioneer by the International Game Developers Association, Lawson was awarded for his inventions in the year 2011. But unfortunately, a month later, he passed away from complications of diabetes. So... This was just a quick installation. This is one of those rare days when I actually have off, so I'm going to go outside in the blistering cold and try to enjoy the rest of the day. But I want everyone to read up some more on Mr. Lawson. His Wikipedia page is very short, and yeah, I went on ahead and read most of what I've uh, done in this presentation uh, for you uh, from the Wikipedia page. There's also a really good... Uh, New York Times article uh, write up on him uh, that I'm going to leave the link in the low bar it goes into a little bit more detail on his uh, work and uh, he also I think he actually founded he had his own company called Videosoft uh, but I don't know if too much was ever really developed out of that company I think it's very important I want to do another might do another STEM African American uh, before I move on to someone else. Uh, so I might go ahead and do a third installment, either Sunday or Monday, then, you know, that I'm going to move on to somebody else. But I definitely want to make sure that people know that our, what our history is in regards to uh, the STEM field. All right, everyone, have a great weekend. This is the Garage Autonomist.